Dear Grade 2 students, This is the chapter about lines and surfaces, and in this lesson, we'll be talking about flat and curved surfaces. This is a hands-on activity to understand the surfaces and their behaviors. Ask for the help of a grown-up to get the following items. We will need a box, any box will do, any size, medicine box, any box, as long as it doesn't have curves, will work. The second item we will need is something that looks like a cylinder. I have a can of beans. You can also use a soda can. You can also use an empty roll of kitchen tissue. Anything that looks like a cylinder. The third item I will need is something that looks like a cone. I have this tool that I use at home, but if you don't have a tool that looks like a cone, you can make your own cone using scrap paper. I made this one. It's very simple. Get a piece of scrap paper. Start rolling it from the bottom. Make sure that the bottom tip is narrow and the top is wide so that it looks like the cone by the time you're finished. Keep rolling until the paper is finished. Now it is better to tape the cone that you made so that it doesn't unroll when we're working. The last object we will need is a ball. This is a fairly easy object to find. Now please prepare your things and be ready. Now my first object is the box. Please hold the box in your hand and look at all of its surfaces. The surfaces of the box are all flat surfaces. Now it's very important to decide the kind of surface that I have in order to know what behavior it will do. All the surfaces of the box are flat. So it is very likely that a box will slide. Let's look, let's place it on one of its surfaces and see how it will move. It moved in a line motion. This movement is called sliding. Now, it will not roll because it doesn't have any curved surfaces. Will it stack? Let's place other boxes on top of it and see. Looks like it stacks. The second object I have is the can. It's obviously curved on the body, but if you look at the top and the bottom surfaces, you will find that they are both flat. Try to touch them, you will find that there are no curves at the top or at the bottom. So, those two surfaces are flat. The body itself is curved. Now, let's try to move it. If we place it on the flat surface on the floor and push it, we will find that it is sliding, whereas if we place it on the curved surface, we will find that it will roll. Now let's try to stack it. Let's place two cans on each other and they stack. My third shape is the cone. Now, look at the bottom surface. It's flat, whereas the body of the cone is curved. Now, guess what movements it can do. If I place it on the flat surface, it will slide. Look again. It's not moving around itself. It's just moving in a straight line. If I place it on the curved side, it will roll. It's not going to go anywhere because of its shape, but it will just keep rolling around itself. Let's try to stack it. Do you think anything will stack on top of the cone? Look at the pointy top of the cone. If you place anything on top of it, it will not hold. It won't hold anything, this pointy stop. Same thing with the pyramid, since it also has a pointy top. Now, my last object is the ball. It has the shape of a sphere. It's all one big curve, 
so it has no flat surfaces so it won't slide or stack it will only move thank you for watching this video hope you learned something and i really hope you did things yourself see you next time